Ladies and gentlemen, this is every Black Ops 4 Zombies Easter egg, starting with Voyage of Despair. Now, unfortunately, I do have to record these because of the fact that I basically got booted offline while trying to do this on stream. And Black Ops 4 has a very bad problem where basically the whole game is pretty much online. Like, you can play local, but I just wouldn't be able to play with all the uh, the mega elixirs. And so that is why I've decided to literally wait. It is like almost 2 in the morning so I can finally play just the greatest these eggs. Okay, so Sentinel Artifact is up. We're gonna get Pack-a-Punch up first, and then once Pack-a-Punch is done, that then allows me to open up the rest of the map. Also, I unfortunately am playing as the most annoying Chaos character in the entire crew. The main character, <laughs> Scarlet. How did they mess up this crew so bad, man? But like, it, it was wild, because I was talking to my chat, and I was saying like how more people were interested in the Exo Zombie storyline than the Chaos storyline. What I actually think it is, is that I think the story is just more simplified. That is what I think makes good story is like get the people in in a simplified way but then later on when they actually want to know all the cool stuff then make it difficult then make it crazy. I just think that like this is the first chaos map. You're on the Titanic. The time has frozen. This map could legitimately have been on any other map. The Titanic was simply a set piece. I feel like I got got when I was playing this and like sure it looks beautiful, but it's like visuals really don't matter a lot in COD Zombies. It's more like, what can I do in the gameplay? Like, can I swim? Can I wall run? Can I have like anti-gravity? Are there like multiple paths? Like, you know, like different, all these different variety of things, in my opinion, is what makes a lot of like people's favorite BO3 zombie maps just that much more exciting, that much more fun. Uh, but I think we can actually start already with the first Easter egg set and that's finding clock so this is our down symbol our minute hand is one and then our our hour hand is negative one and the reason why i say negative one is because it has it's all dependent on where the 12 is so think of 12 as zero it's negative one Okay, so now it's down line. So our minute hand is negative one and our hour hand is one. So there we go, pretty nice. So now we have our minute hand at three and then negative two as our hour hand. We definitely have our last clock symbol here. Yep, this is the up triangle. Okay, so the minute hand is negative two and the hour hand is negative three. Okay, so now basically what we have to do is input all these codes up. So basically the hour hand is up here and we have the up line one on the left and the down line one on the right. So this up line one is negative two and then this one is one. And then that should be absolutely everything there. So up line is three, one, two, three, down is one uh down line is negative one and then up is negative two and the thing is is like in my opinion if you fail the step just give up <laughs> up is going to be negative three and then this one should be negative one and there you go now we should have symbols at these vaults okay so at the aft decks here we have ice we have water and we basically have to do this in the order of poison water electric fire so let's see where if i have anything here this is poison at births no way is that electric i hear the electricity i just don't see it it might oh there it is bro okay how about here? Yes, there we go. Okay, so fire is actually at Spitfire. So we now have elemental catalyst in the map. I need a poison one though. We might not get it. They're kind of uh they're kind of random. I just took him out with my zombie shell with the insta-kill. Well, I deserve that. Let's just hit box. There's really like we've got the time. We're gonna get Stoker, I think, probably next round. So I mean let's just let's just get let's just get it going. Oh my gosh, first hit Kraken. I mean, come on. You can't even write that, dog. Okay, we're full. We're fully set up. Let's go. So basically, now it's just about getting everything in place. So, we got this pap. So, poison is here. We're literally just waiting. Okay. Oh, I almost took out the poison. Poison, please, please, please. Yeah, you gotta let him come close. Too. Okay, so that should do it. Can I pick up his foot? Okay, I don't think he dropped it. Sometimes they don't drop it. It's literally RNG. So... 
Now poison is the first one up. So literally, this is just like a mini little trial. It's pretty cool. Like, yeah, I'm, I like Helion just wrecks everything, dog. Like, you don't even have to worry. Now I'm pretty much set. I'm going to go upgrade it for like 6k. Uh, also, let's throw a Homox. I got a max ammo I can pick up after this. Yeah, I'm just going to spam this. Because essentially, like, it kind of just sort of takes you out of this real fast. Anybody, anybody else? There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's got like some weird effect when it like goes off. Okay, so now water, we need to do that aftex, which is right here. So basically we, we are chilling for a water zombie that spawns right here now. Yeah. I hear an ice. Oh yes, come down here, brother. Come down here. Okay, there we go. Okay, and bro decided to just go crazy. Okay, so this one sucks because it refloods the area. What I am going to do though is I'm going to throw homunculus because these things are absolutely goaded and they're literally so useful on the boss fight especially. They help out so much. And it's also crazy because I actually think, number one, this is the first time I will ever do Alpha Omega solo, but I think this is also the first time I'm doing these Easter eggs without classics. Usually I'm running classics for each of these Easter eggs except like maybe Immolation. I feel like it's just so much better. It's like the difference between Mega Gobblegum and Classic Gobblegum and BO3. Like, you're just gonna have a better time, a more enjoyable time with Megas. It just takes out all the, the annoying things, you know? So, that's Poison, that's Water. Electric is next. Oh, there they are. And there we go. Okay. So yeah, this one's not bad. Yeah, the specialists are pretty bad against the boss zombies though. Also, the craziest part is refreshment also gives you full armor. So it's like, oh, okay. Well, there's my first down. It happens. It happens. I mean, especially when you're dealing with one of those boys. What are my perks this time? Luna, let's go. And quick revive, honestly. Quick revive is really nice. And Luna is going to be so helpful. Yeah, I am also going to use the Helion now. Helion's just best. It's just, it's just the go-to thing. Thank God they never nerfed this, bro. And thank God they will never come back to nerf it either. This makes me happy. Something actually overpowered in zombies that's fun. I never feel like you need to nerf overpowered things in zombies. You just need to make everything else better. That's the best balancing. That was like the Modern Warfare 2 way, and it absolutely worked, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so the last one now we need to do is fire. And fire is at the Spitfire. Okay, this fire guy is over here. There we go. And boom, bada bing. There we go. Yeah, this part, I feel like it's definitely best also to be up top. Because this is where they just spawn fire zombies. And I think for this, this is why you're running the chakrams for this particular step. It's like keeping those fire guys away from you. Yeah, as long as they just don't touch you, you're all right. But like, man, they do a ton of damage. Luna, thank you. Coming in at a great time. Luna's also great as like a body block. Because like he legit will block so much of the damage. It's actually incredible. Okay, so now we have the Sentinel Artifact. And basically, we need to put it in the pack bunch. So the pap will swap here, which is nice. And then, yeah, it's pretty much like the Easter egg is basically just about upgrading the Sentinel Artifact the whole way through. There we go. Yeah, and then now it should say pack bunch central artifact, which we now do. And now we are on the planet step. So a lot of this step pretty much is, is just like you hit all the symbols and then they all pretty much go into the sky. You shoot the planets in order. No, I can start hitting them now. Okay, so that's Neptune. Neptune is the funniest one because it's like the way you shoot it is it's like in the water because it's Neptune, you know? in the water why is this step a thing this step on any other map would have been phenomenal just this map is just not it okay so i think that is jupiter and then mars is back up here yeah that's i think that's mars so we have jupiter and mars venus is in the millionaire suites right here uh uranus is right here right behind this thing in the bathroom haha ha, funny joke your anus uh the sun is up here this is mercury i have a feeling this one is saturn up here let's let's hear it though i don't know hopefully that one's saturn because i don't know where else saturn would be and then the moon should be right here and I think that's all of them. 
Oh, this is just the hard part because basically I just have to write everything down. This is the writing everything down Easter egg. Let's start it. So starting with Saturn, then Jupiter, then uh, Neptune, then Mars, then Uranus, then Moon, then Venus, I think that is, Mercury, and last but not least, the Sun. Okay, so we have our order. So let's throw a Monk and let's look for Saturn. Saturn is right there. There's the rings. Okay, so Saturn now will come down and we'll see it drop down, hopefully right into where I'm standing. You can see the planet come down. This is pretty cool how it comes down. Like I said, like this is a cool step. It just doesn't fit the, ti the Titanic at all. Okay, so Jupiter now. I have to unfortunately kind of run far to hit this one. Uh, so let's, let's shoot. So Jupiter should be down in this engine room. Yeah, there we go. Now it's Neptune. So Neptune was the fun one. I actually like this one because this one's actually kind of difficult to find. Oh yeah, it's right there. Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, and so the other thing is like when it disappears, I think it comes on the other side of the ship. I've seen a lot of ugly things today, but that's Wow. Wow, the shield idea. is legit just the meta. That's shocking. Mars is bright red. That is Mars. Okay, so that's Mars. Uh, okay. There we go. Uranus is in the bathroom. Okay, now it's the moon. So it's funny because the moon is legit the easiest one to hit. It's just right there. Okay, so now Venus, Mercury, and Sun. Okay, Mercury, and then the sun. And so here's the problem now though. Once I do this, I think it puts me into another step and I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. Yeah, so as soon as I pick this up now, like I'm in another step now. I think this step is also timed. Yeah, so here's, here's the issue. This is so easy with the Helion, I just have no ammo. Do I just ethereal razor? I think I do. Yep. Oh wow, the chakrams are fast with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's let's really make use of this. Oh my gosh, why? My gosh, bro, this is what I'm saying. Like no shield, no nothing, just a will. Just a will and a hope and a dream. They like need a drop of max here, dude. This is, this is definitely the worst that I've ever been on at this step. Usually, like, I have everything, and I'm, like, totally fine. But, dang, this is, like, I'm using it down to the bone. Here we go, finally. So, what's interesting is that you don't even have to do the last of these. You just shoot the final one, and you're done. All the world records be helping me out right here. Because, literally, yeah, they just didn't even think of people doing this. Like, you have guns this whole thing. Of course people are going to do that. They just disappear too. It's so funny. It's time. It's time for boss fight. I'm as prepared as I can be. And hopefully if I beat this, I get free doors. So I'm going to take that. Like, look at this though. This is one of the coolest things ever. You see all these like bodies flowing around and like you can like push them out of the way. This was easily one of the, the coolest parts about BF4. And then you just go up and hold square to it. How this tree in an iceberg spawns an eye boss fight is genuinely beyond me but i mean this is one of the coolest cutscenes ever in cod zombies and you can't change my mind it is genuinely beautiful i just realized all the planets are also on the tree i don't know what like see this is the thing i don't know what that means it's the first time i've ever seen that bro and then now you got the, like the the iceberg coming out as the boss that is one big iceberg that's the cod zombies iceberg number five right there boys well i'm excited because this boss fight is actually riveting it's challenging it's fun it's exciting it's fun five phases so ladies and gentlemen let's get right into it the eye of odin boss fight 
Now this is where it gets actually busy. And this is legit where I could pop the refreshment because he's going to start shooting lasers down the hallways here. And basically, I have to just essentially sit in the corner until he appears on one side. And what I have to do is shoot him right through here. Homunculus is coming out because now you literally just... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Honestly, that was not that bad. And so when the laser starts shooting out from the eye again here for phase four, that's when I start shooting. So again, homonk time. And then get the four shots in for... Okay, for some reason, it used to be four shots. Now it's two. Wow. Yeah, it's legit only two shots. I don't know if they made it easier or like, what is going on? I remember it used to be four shots per phase. There we go. I'm quite shocked. Like, we're already final phase. So now this is for all the marbles, really. So basically, this is where I have to just pick up the max and do as much as I can. Let me get ready. There we go. Yeah, the lock-on is how you know you hit them. There we go. Monk is going out. Wow, that was only one. Okay. Like, some Monk is coming out. Yeah, just some bonks are so nice for this man. Yep, two shots on him there. There we go. Okay, I have no homunculuses, so this is going to be... We're going to be down to the wire here. Yeah, okay. I did not realize I'd be freezing. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is bad. I'm. I got to be very careful with my ammo here. Final phase. This should be it. Get all the damage in. And that is the Voyage of Despair Easter Egg and Boss Fight. Let's go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's Voyage. Let's get into 9 now, baby. This is such a different change of pace from Voyage of Despair. And because I have completed Voyage of Despair, I should have free doors. Also, I got some amazing perks luna electric cherry victorious winter's whale and quick revive and death percent all of them are amazing let's get it we got to do the three trials here obviously to get the acid trap and the reason why we need the acid trap is for the nine scorpion i am running fire sales because this is another one of those maps where boss fight you want the helion salvo man you really really do but man, like just the aesthetic and the vibe of nine is truly something that I don't know if we'll ever experience in Call of Duty again. This is a cool vibe. We go next round, we get that next 10, and then we'll be gaming round four. Let's go. And yeah, so a lot of this is also based on your affinity. Like you do need the affinity pretty much to get the poo poo for the easter egg step the fire is also going to be great for getting negative affinity maybe i could get the poo poo already honestly maybe i should uh so now we got a pack punch strife we get the part and let's run into the fire uh but yeah with the fire it's very easy to actually get negative affinity you can see how fast it's turning around so there we go we have the stinky poo poo did we get the poo poo i don't know if i just picked up the item or not i don't know I, that was so weird what i just saw but let's see do I have free doors this game? I do. So that's that's actually sick. Let's just get through this right now then. Start getting the bull shield and all the champions done. So nice when it's just play the map. You got that permanent shopping for you. Let's just open up every single door here. Just get it all going. We have the head here already. So I literally already know where it is. I don't even have to do the freaking... Oh, shoot the thing. Ha, ah, shoot the thing. Nah, G, I ain't got to shoot nothing, bro. Open up the Odin and the Zeus side, boy. Get the part for the shield. Caligula. Bro, the, I, the amount of vocabulary you can learn from Black Ops 4 Zombies is astounding, dog. Okay, so yeah, why they gotta... Bro, you're gonna hop down and I'm gonna take you out in an instant. What are you, what are you getting all excited about over here, bro? You're about to get bullied. I don't know what to tell you. We're basically just chilling now. And then as soon as we're done this, we go to PAP. We have, we've got all of them now. And yeah, the PAP is basically just to get the rest of the acid trap parts. Let's get PAP open now. And then what we're going to do is grab all the sh grab all the acid trap parts. I may or may not need a guide to find the skull in the wall. That's like the only time I ever need to pull up something. But for the most part, I think we're all right. Uh, I'm going to grab all the acid trap parts here as well. 
Okay, so you shoot that, and then we know now that the part was at Danu. So as soon as I shoot that, I can now pick up this head. And then literally, all you do now with the head is you bring it up to... I mean, I could have built it right here, but I like building it at the raw temple. So you build the trap on the temple, and then before you actually activate it, you place the skull, and then activate the trap, and it melts the stone, and releases something called an Egyptian spile, which is something you put into, like, a tree to get, like, the sap out. And what the spile does is that's how we're going to get the sap out of the Danu tree to get the acid to pour on the mist box to get the wonder weapons so what a freaking convoluted process but like welcome black ops 4 baby um i i should have left the one i'm gonna i'm gonna actually pop this fire sale now because i feel like i literally only have one weapon still oh my gosh i already got it so like I, what i'm doing is completely useless now i also should pop this because actually right now yeah that's actually what i should do i'm gonna look for the skull on the wall that we need to grab so the way you grab it is by whipping out your specialist weapon and so i'm able to pop this too it's wild i've literally like barely spent my points uh so literally this is the worst step ever because you have to really look in this dark crypt for a skull with a blue circle on its forehead like yo yeah 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 you have like freaking 900 of these in the wall because they can literally be in any of these spots like legit any of them and it's like when you find the real one it's not even like worth it half the time oh the gladiators here okay i don't want to kill him let's go up and get it okay so now i need bro to throw his axe so he drops one of the the spikes oh my gosh i'm 50 health there we go and so there is our item and then we go to odin's spot now and we put it at the very bottom inside the fire and we let it sit for a couple rounds and so while i'm doing this i'm gonna wait on this round until we find a skull the skull is of utter importance right now oh it's right here oh my gosh i found it and there it is. We've got it. Wow. Like, that's what I mean. Like, cool step, but in practicality, it's just kind of freaking annoying. Now, literally, I just need to pop fire sails and spin for homunculus and spin for Helion Salvo. If I get those two, we are absolutely ga we're gaming. Oh, and there we go. Homonks. Very lovely. This gun looks so sick. What a beautiful Mastercraft. The camels in this game and the Mastercrafts were truly ahead of their time. Yeah, but the damage was not ahead of its time. And I just got rid of the scorpion for some reason. I don't know why I did that. Um, well, that's going to be interesting. Dang. Only two gladiators there. And that should get this thing to be fully done. And yeah, you can see it turned red and I'm able to pick it up now. And so now literally we have to go to Zeus and place this all here and just wait for a couple rounds. Just the Helion would be so nice right now, man. Could you imagine? Oh, -ho -ho! that is what I'm talking about. We literally have all the weapons that we need now. We are totally on pace. We're doing this just right. We just need to wait for the Zeus. Oh, wow. It's already done. Dang, I got it in one round. Usually it takes two. Now it needs to be placed at Danu. And Danu essentially also now just needs to let this ferment in the middle here. And then we're gaming. Now we are just waiting for paps. The Viper and Dragon is also going to be so great for the actual step. With the specialist weapon only pretty much. Okay, let's grab that. Let's also check on Danu. How's Danu looking? It's looking not ready. Yeah, a lot of nine pretty much just boils down to just round skipping. Like it's just like it's just like getting through the rounds to get certain steps to happen. Like you literally, it's not even like you need to do something in those rounds. It's just no, just get your guns ready and all that. But yeah, okay, so now it's smoking green, and so literally all we have to do is just get a firebomb, take uh Elim over it, and we're good. Okay, firebomb. I'm just gonna shoot until firebomb pretty much procs and there it is it's procced and now i'm gonna pop my specialist so i don't die and i just have to stand on here and it should telly me and there we go spitfire time let's get it let's get all that damage into the bulbs this is a really cool easter egg step as well it's just it's pretty much just damaging a bunch of bulbs there we go yeah usually i don't have homunculus for this but having it actually makes it so much easier it's literally you just Damn it with this Spitfire. Spitfire is one of the best. I actually think the Helion could be better, but Spitfire is pretty much doing as much as I needed to right now. Look how gorgeous the skybox is in this step. Like, why we don't have it permanent is beyond me. So now I basically need to find bull symbols, and these bull symbols can be anywhere, and there's four of them. 
one right there. Is there one up there? Yes, there is. Yeah, they're pretty easy to spot, in my opinion. Yeah, take out the gladiators, because as you can see, they start, like, spinning around. It's better to take them out one by one, because I find if you take them out all by once, the, the souls sometimes don't travel to Ra on time. Uh, and yeah, so this guy's also one of the symbols we shot. Another sacrifice in the name of Ra. Okay, there could be one also here. I think there's going to be one here. Yeah, there's that one. This boy's done. Let's see that soul fly out of you. Ah, I just didn't see it. It was there. Okay. I was like, yeah. I was like, for sure, I probably just ran past it. And that's exactly what I did. Okay, where's my gladiator? I can literally start this next step. There we go. I do have to be very careful here. Because basically, I only have the Helion Salvo. And I have to take out everything in a specific order. So honestly, I think I'm popping a max here. And look at that. It's so cool. Like, having the perk machines as part of the Easter egg, I think it's sick. So they're going to give me four symbols here. And I have to take out whatever that is in order. So that is a brawl. That is a uh, tiger, electric brawler, tiger, electric fire. Brawler, tiger, electric fire. Brawler? Yeah, brawler. Is that tiger? Tiger will use the Spitfire for Electric. I should also do this fast so I don't get Luna to actually take, accidentally take them out. But there we go. First four is done. Next four symbols. Tiger, fire, tiger, fire, electric, water. Fire and tiger. Okay, tiger. Fire's up here. There's fire. Electric. Make them all out, Luna. There we go, baby. And just like that, the raw step is done. So next now is Zeus. This is basically where we just shoot prongs into the top of the sky. Yeah, so it's literally just shoot it with the, the shield until it goes up. So that one's done. Yeah, and basically you can't leave the crypt until all of these are shot. So I can't imagine how this must have been like when people were solving this. Like how difficult it would have been to do this. Also, Spitfire is going to be huge for this step. So we got another one here. Yeah, they're just the rate of fire on the Spitfire is just so worth it. And then the last one. Oh, yeah, it's to the left of this area. So I'm going to turn on a trap, take them out while they're coming in, and just sh shoot that boy. And there we go. Great storm approaches. We're able to go up now. So, yeah, basically there's going to be a bunch of fields out here where I have to essentially take out two boss zombies in each of these fields to connect the currents around the spawn room. It's hard to do this with regular zombies. I find it's best to do this with bosses. And so now it's powered on. We've got three more to go, and that's that. Well, let's go, baby. They must not survive. This is literally the perfect time to get this round because I'm able to literally just use all of the boss spawns they give me. So I'm actually going to go right in front of the, the spawn. That's what I think is so funny. I will never read the jungle book the same way again. He was in the circle, but sometimes they don't count. Is that guy? Yeah, brute, come on in here. Oh, we got a brawler. Come on over. Okay. Come on, jump up in here. Yep, get in here. There we go. So now that one's done. Oh, yeah, and then we activate this, and then it's specialist weapon only time. But the thing is, though, is, like, you don't even need to use a specialist. I think I'm just going to whip out the Helion. What is it? Just using the specialist weapon can put yourself at a massive risk. The Helion is just so much better. There's just too many enemies, I feel like, to not use the Helion. Like, I think, I think the way it works is you need to actually take out a certain number of enemies. Yeah, Helion is just madness, dog. As long as you have PhD as well. There we go. Wow. Complete W. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a homunculus. This is a little bit ridiculous. Yeah, because literally all it is is you're like jumping trying to hit all of the all of the symbols at once. And the only way you can do that genuinely is just by trial and error. Like it just okay there we go so we just got it like you see what i mean like it's not that good of a step because you just cheese it and then eventually you get it you just spam it until you get it pretty much i don't know this one i find it's like best like shoot the top corner oh never mind i shot the complete other opposite corner and got it instantly 
And there we go. We've now got him. We got all three of them. And so now we are waiting for the lockdown. Let's get it, baby. Uh, also, this trap is just doing the Lord's work. I have not seen any of the zombies from that side. Yeah, the boss zombies do take a bit to just enter in the map. Is that a blight father I hear there? What the frick was that? Yeah, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a Monculus there. Let's go, Luna. Dude, Luna is just so goaded. I got very lucky with this game for sure. My perkaholic is legitimately one of the best I've ever seen. I do kind of wish Rampage Inducer was uh in Black Ops 4. I feel like Rampage Inducer is one of the best features from Cold War. They definitely should have put it into BO4. Bro, I've only stopped two out of three catalyst transformations on my trial. It's still two out of three. I still haven't even beat it. Okay, so this should give me the max ammo. That should be it. Oh, I need to grab the key. Yeah, so you get the key. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for boss fight. Let's go right into this for nine. I literally love this boss fight. So, I mean, we're ready to go. Let's go, baby. Yeah, so what you can do is just spam the the circuit's kiss here. I find it's better to use it on the regular mobs. But, like, you go, th you just waste so much ammo by doing this. I mean, what else am I going to use it for? Boom. Oh, there we go. Okay, there they go. There they go. There they go. Yeah, this strat with the Sir Cat's Kiss is so busted. Where's my max? Okay, do we get Elephant now? Oh, and there he is. Let's go. I'm, I gotta pick this up. Oh, don't fling me. Bro, the nine Elephant can fling you so far. It's insane. Okay, that's his armor. And then just in the head, bro. In the head. The Helion. The Helion in the head, dog. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh, I already got him. I didn't even realize. Wow, that's crazy. Well, there is a second elephant, but bro, I'm telling you, like, that's what I'm saying. This is the Helion is so different. And like a lot of people were failing this boss fight because like they didn't know about this Spitfire or the Mog or whatnot. Like, let me see if I can. Oh, my man. Like, he does not mess around. We got Luna in. Yep. Yeah. That's his armor. Last to Monk. We take him out right here, dog. This is this is legit easy mode. Oh my gosh. Do not hit me. The thing is that they can still fling you out of the map and stuff. But bro, that's it. Boss fight done. Easter egg done. Nine is done. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. And I mean, on to blood. It's wild because my two most completed Black Ops 4 Easter eggs are Dead of the Night and Blood of the Dead because my chat has made me want to suffer doing through it multiple times. And so I've just realized that you guys genuinely hate me, but I feel like doing this Easter egg that many times has allowed me to actually get just that much more better. It is still a not bad Zombies map. Like, I definitely play this over Voyage of Despair, but I definitely play Voyage of Despair over Alpha Omega. I'm slowly realizing that Alpha Omega is my least favorite Black Ops 4 Zombies map. It just feels like nothing. Okay. Yeah, throw the brave fire there for the dogs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and thank you, goodness, for Winter's Whale saving my literal existence out here. He's gonna die, right? There we go. I was about to say. Okay. Let's soul sug these zombies. There we go. KN is so beautiful on, with this Mastercraft. Like, some of the BO4 camels are just stunning i just love the way this thing looks man it's so cool looking the yellow eroded part like it looks like some sort of like acid is eroded there but then it kind of also looks like these like japanese type symbols it looks sick there's another full power over there oh my gosh i'm gonna see if i can get that no luna no he's choked he choked get him going Okay, yeah, and this is the last one that we get, the Hell's Retriever. Carpenter, oh yeah, this is gonna help out big time. It's so hard, because I don't know if Winter's Whale actually, like, feeds him. Because they literally just stand in place, it's so bizarre. Okay, I still got a freaking bunch of them, dog. Bro got a whole zombie shell up in there, dog. It's cool because a lot of people don't know, like, when you pull out the specialist weapon, you're actually getting the zombies to respawn. It's so weird how this game works. Like, it doesn't actually fully kill them when you whip it out. 
I'm not excited for the bird step. Honestly, I think that's probably one of my least favorite Easter egg steps of all time, the bird step. It ultimately just drags this Easter egg down so hard, in my opinion. Okay, so now we hit this. We hit the skull. And then the spoon, basically. We just need to use this to knife the thing and get a monkey bomb. Yeah, let's just... And the round with this thing because now we just basically need to get the rest of the skull spots throw this boy this one we will see about that okay we got it okay now we got to go up to pap and when we go up to pap we can then get the whole freaking challenge is going, bro. Because, yeah, honestly, Blood of the Dead is basically very similar to Grodd Kroby's Easter egg. But it's just not as good. Get that boy up. Here we go. Okay, boy, get in here. Get in here. He's going to lock absolutely everything on the way. But you know what? This is what you pay for to do the Easter eggs faster, my guy. Oh, and there he is. And then we just throw a monkey bomb right here. And then literally he just breaks the door down and that's it. <laughs> like, what the heck is that all about, dog? And then you grab the orb and then I think, yeah, you, you place the book, the cranorium. Or you flip the switch. Yeah, that's what it is. And then now we begin, brother. Uh, the blunder guy is actually right there. And honestly, I'm going to pick it up. And now we get it going. The first bird step can only spawn in one of four locations, which honestly makes this Easter egg that much easier. So this bird can spawn right here. And there he is. See you later, brother. Okay, and there it is. So I believe it's in the bottom area. Ah, you fiend. Okay, we got the second spot. Yeah, this one's on the roof. Oh, no, it's right here. I've never in my life, in my whole entire life, have ever had that spot. Blundell said, we want you looking for birds on this map. You're going to be bird watching whether you like it or not. Now we are just looking for this last freaking zombie blood bird, my guy. This thing can be legit anywhere. So let's hear it. Let's see if I can hear it. Oh my gosh, it's literally right there. There's no way. I just got it on my first freaking thing. Let's just do it already, because I know what I have to do. It's just eight, seven, two, and then this spawns in a zombie blood, and then literally I just freaking go, and then literally just, there we go, we got the book. Okay, now that we have the Cronario, we can finally start the Easter egg steps, man. Jeez, what an annoying step, just to get the freaking Cronorium. I hope we get a fun challenge first. I mean, we're going to have to do all of them, which is just... What's our code? 491. 491. Okay. 491. Now we run back and see okay, what the frick we're I'm doing. Not... You can always tell just by looking at where the freaking lighthouse is shining. And it's Docs. Great. Docs is going to be a pain because pretty much what I got to do for this is just um, do Morse code. And this Morse code step you can do pretty easily. Just got to make sure you know what's up. Let's get this thing first. There we go. Let's just basically start this pretty much right now. So I'm going to start with a short and then see if that works. I'm just going to tap it a couple times and just see if we get it. Okay, so it's not a tapperini. It's a hole then. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so our first number is eight. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one. Oh, that's it? My number was literally just nine? That was the easiest Morse code I've ever done in my life. There's legit no way. It was just that. That's kind of insane. So now we have to run up to infirmary and take out a zombie. Uh, and then I have to shield blast it pretty much. And then we just escort the bro. So there's that. Shoot him. And now we need zombie souls for my boy. Get my mans up here. Yes, sir. Yeah, the Magma Gat is also very nice for this. You can just basically just spam it and he gets a bunch of souls. Finally, we are moving and schmoving. Come on, brother. I need you with me. There we go. 
Yeah, bro's running out of juice. I might not have enough juice. Oh, he, look at him. He's all red. Uh-oh. It's not good when they red like that. Come on, man. I'm leading you to the dock. Have nice trips and postcards. I mean, there we go. Now we do another challenge. Docks is done, which is pretty good. That was one of the harder ones. We still have new industries, though. Or the powerhouse one, and that one is just literally a joke. I cannot stand that one. What's next? 696. Okay, six, nine, and that's six, brother. Okay, so this one is guaranteed to be not docks. But now the real question is, are we getting a hard one or an easy one? Oh, we got one all the way, I think, at the spawn. Okay, so, yeah, we got powerhouse. Oh, no. Well, this is going to be interesting. Shoot that boy. Let's see if I can see him. There we go. Oh, no, no, no. It is Simon Says step now. We do not like this step. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this Samantha Says is going to be me hoping to God I get it. I'm so bad at this step. This is it. We got to remember our codes. Oh, and we got the chi key charge here. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Okay, right is our first one. And then we got to do this five times. That's door. Uh, door close. Okay, door close. Close. Close, close. So double close. Close, close, left. Okay. Close, close, and left. Okay, left. Close, left, close. Left, close, left. Left, close, left, back. Left, close, left, Back. Okay, back. Back, close. Back, close, right. Back, close, right, door. Back, close, right, door, front. So back, close, right, door, and front. Now I need to remember the symbols that I see that are lit up. Okay, so it's close, right and door so this one is symbol number three right is symbol number four and this is symbol number six pick up the punch card there we go so four is e e f okay so our symbols are c e f there we go so now he hits that one and that should work and yeah, he has to come now and hit these two on the right here. There we go. And then one more. And that should give us the orb. Let's go, man. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. We just get it like that. There we go. Okay, I will take you. Thank you, sir. There we go. Helion Salvo definitely makes this so much easier. Thank you, Luna, for helping. What a G. Okay. Yeah, so I can take out zombies outside. Okay, that's it. There you go, brother. Thank you. Shrum alone. Give me your thing. Give me your soul and I'm a peace out. There we go. Okay, that one's done. Yeah, I have a feeling we're going to get new industries next. So I'm going to genuinely try and get max soul charge up on here. Okay, it's full charged. Ready for blast. Ready for takeoff. Let's shock this boy. And now we just freaking shield key charge him. And then literally just do it until bro is redder than my you know what. But then once he's fully red, this should be the last one. Then I can just go and finish it. Oh, there we go. Okay. And what's nice is I don't even need to look through the shield to see the ghost. He should appear. There he is. Brother's coming. He's definitely on his way. And yeah, you have to time it because this new industry trap is honestly not on for that long. I, I think I'm good to activate it now. And there's our last orb. So now we only have the Michigan Avenue challenge, which is just so dumb easy. So literally we got this. Yep, there we go. Okie dokie, we're zooming. So now, again, we just need to take out a zombie here. And then this is really where the step gets big. So, honestly, let's get it. Do not touch my friend, lad. You will not touch him. You will get nowhere close. 
Yeah, this one's definitely the most fun challenge in my opinion, because it's actually like a challenge. This is like a Garod Crow V type challenge right here. There we go. Yep. It is just so insane how god tier this freaking gun is. Like, dude is not even red whatsoever. This was easily my best run of Blood of the Dead so far. I am genuinely impressed, my gamers. Okay, so now I have all the orbs. I'm ready to place them. So now all those orbs are in. Yeah, it is now time to go back to the warden and get the cutscene, baby. Oh, yeah, we got to put the summon. Now he's going to be looking all crazy. I definitely love the Blood of the Dead mid cutscenes. Like, once you get to this point of the E-Strike, it's actually quite fun. You've done all the worst parts, you know? Girl, I don't belong to you. He freaking knocks me in the head like that. Like, what a, what a bully. Your life sentence lasts like five seconds. <laughs> we Freaking weasel comes out and saves you after like <laughs> after like ten seconds of this guy leaving. Bro, freaking put your big light out, dog. Get that thing out of my face. Bro's like my mom when she walks. Bro, <laughs> I should not have said that. That's so funny. Okay, weasel, any time now. Come hit the vault meter. I ain't gonna wait for somebody in Mob of the Dead to do it in afterlife now. Any day. Yeah, okay, there we go. Now we go. Now we got it. We've got it. You can just literally just run through, freaking bully this guy. See you later. See you freaking later, you donkey, you dinky, you dinky doodler, you absolute donkey. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the boss fight. Let's get it. There we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's get it. Boss fight time. But basically, I just realized this boss fight mainly just consists of taking out Brutus as fast. And if you have the Helion Salvo, you, you absolutely kill this. Yeah, just freaking spam that Helion, brother. Spam that Helioner. Okay, spit fire these bad boys. I remember failing this round 100 boss fight because I didn't have PhD with the Helion Salvo. And it's like, it's so easy to fail. Okay. Oh my goodness, four rocket launchers to the chest, this guy said. Oh, the combination is actually insane. Yeah, when you have the both of them, that is when it goes different. Uh, let's just do this first, and then I'll grab the Max and the Carpenter. Oh my gosh, almost died there. Bro, oh, we got the bot in. Rick Toppin, you going in, G? Nah, he's just gonna run around with the welling. I wonder if he can, like, hold him back so he doesn't do it. It's wild how they literally have AI get you to finish this. And so, uh, there we go. That is it. And he just whipped out that crystal like it's nothing. And there we go. <laughs> One Helios shot and boss fight is over. <laughs> Honestly, what I feel about, like, really sucks with this Easter right now is that, like, you see all the, like, implications of the Great Ward map being set up, and then they just don't ever happen. It's so sad, man. Also, every YouTuber cried at this point, except for me. I didn't overreact. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the Dead of the Night Easter Egg. My recording did get corrupted, so I am pretty far into the Easter Egg. I've gotten the PAP, the Silver Bullets, the fully upgraded Wonder Weapon, and I'm already on the Ghost Step, which is just insane. Uh, I did the Zodiac Scratch. I did the Alistair's Puzzle. I did the Silver Bullets. Uh, so literally, it's it's been, a, it's been a crazy ride so far. And so essentially right now, now, I'm on the second last step where basically I just have to look for the woman that's around the map somewhere. So that's essentially the goal. And let's get it. Dead of the Night's map is incredible, man. I think a lot of people don't give this map enough love, enough attempts, enough tries. Because genuinely this map is... It's so ridiculous in terms of what you can do and all the different side Easter eggs and all the different lore. And you know what's wild is like, I actually checked. This is my most played Easter egg in Black Ops 4. And it's probably because most people hated this map for a long time and were just like, do it. Oh, I hear the ghost. Wait, was it, where is the ghost? I saw it. I didn't see you, but I hear you. Oh, right here. Let's go. Yeah, so this ghost is going to be a bit of a, 
bit of a deal and so once we're done this ghost step we'll have another tablet that unlocks and then the last one that i have to do is the fireplace step i kind of have forgotten that step this this map is definitely underrated to me like this map was supposed to be as big of a deal as like the sha a shadows of evil or a mob of the dead and it definitely got overshadowed because of how poorly it launched but genuinely if you ever are someone who's wants to learn more zombies content and experience it and all that Bro, this game, or this map was it, bro. This map had it. There we go. And we've got the tablet. Okay, so we got two out of three tablets. That is so sick. And then the last one now is with the shields and the fireplace. And so I already have the trap. I basically just need to remember now what areas I need to go. How people even found this. Like, not only just running out with your shield into a trap, but also full charging the Alistair's Annihilator and then running with your shield to do an Easter egg step. That gives you a locket that you have to get a like get a soldier to follow you around the map it's so bizarre and you have to hit the fireplaces all in a specific order you can't just hit them randomly like no wonder this has got to be one of the, like the the least completed easter eggs on this game 100 percent. but funnily enough this is one of my most completed easter eggs and so there you go you can see like right there we already get a jewel and you don't even see it you just hear a sound man like that's crazy how they did y'all like this and then here's the other thing. It's just like, I don't want to go through it because I don't want the zombies to full die. This is wild. I genuinely, like, refuse to believe that people found this without the help of Treyarch. Like, I genuinely even wonder if, like, some YouTubers had some sort of guidance because it's just like... How the frick do you even solve this? Like, it's, it's wild enough that you have to do this with all the fireplaces, but, like, charge the freaking Alistair's Annihilator fully upgraded as well? Wild. So there's the second jewel. Yeah, just uh, that boggles my mind, man, how many different little Easter eggs this are. And, like, bro, there's also a six perk Easter egg where you can get free homunculuses on here, bro. It's mad, man. Okay, there's Master. So, trophy. Like, how? How are people figuring this stuff out? That's what I'm saying. Like, these are very, very specific things. And in my opinion, there's very little guidance that, like, actually shows you how to do it. But I also need to make sure that I upgrade my Spitfire before we go to boss fight. Because now I have the jewels and I'm going to go get all of the statues. This step is pretty long. You have to gather all the statues and then get them going and all that. Not a short step, let me tell you. Especially because it's like you have to walk as soon as you spawn them in with the, the stone here. Because they they'd be slow but yeah it's a this is this is a very cool step it's just like i don't think uh, this is one of those bo4 easter eggs for sure that was not designed for solo play 110 percent, i can tell you that so we've got this one here and then the next one is literally right here and then what you do is you start sprinting so they stay there and then you go and grab the other one and then that's pretty much it and then pretty much after this the easter egg is just taking out a bunch of zombies it's locked lockdowns is getting souls it's it's all that and so we'll do it we'll do it and then the last statue is right here come on down follow me over here boy but yeah like i well, i'm a big f i did i have an art history degree right and so i remember watching a bunch of films about like nosferatu and i think like once i knew the lore about the original dracula vampire and nosferatu definitely made me appreciate this map a way more let me tell you because like you can actually start seeing all the little symbolism that Jason Blundell and Treyarch were adding into this and it's just so freaking cool in my opinion so I've got all three of the jewels behind me now and literally we just bring them into the the forest here and get a bunch of souls with them and then I'll take out the zombie and that's pretty much it like that's all the hard steps really that night's a fun egg man once you know how to do it like I definitely think it's funny that like Noah still rates this as his worst zombies map of all time because it definitely does not deserve that this map is genuinely a masterpiece in its own right it's just it's unfortunate because this it just so many bad things happen and it goes to show like you have a god tier map but like if you have a terrible launch nobody will care like genuinely nobody and that is just really sad in my opinion okay so that one's done now and then this one over here we got the blue symbol on and there we go baby and yeah pretty much it's all souls and taking taking them all out right now and there we go they move a little bit closer each and every time so make it at least somewhat easy yes sir give me that rate fire 
Uh, you really also probably, I might also try and spin for homunculuses, but they're not like insanely needed in my opinion. You can definitely run the egg without them, but I think it's more up to personal preference. I mean, I don't think I'll need them to be honest. I think if I just like play it correctly, I can do it. I can do it just fine. But I mean, maybe if I get homunculuses, it would be nice. Okie doke. Take out them zombies, boy. Okay, this guy is probably going to be done real soon. And then once they're in the middle, it's going to start spawning in some werewolves. We're going to have to take those bad boys out real fast. There we go. And then one more. Yeah, it's also wild because, like, apparently the reason why this map... Like, this map should have been on launch because it is a prequel map. But apparently the reason why it wasn't is because it took them so long to get the celebrity cast. And it's the funniest thing because that also ended up being, in my opinion, the worst part part about the map is this celebrity cast which is usually never the case but it's just like something to do with like the map's lore i think it was mainly just the treyarch writing the writing in this map is absolutely horrendous and so there we go the wolf is done we took him out and then they should all now make the lockdown stone and there we go there it is so let's literally start with this stone right now because i got to do all three of the stones honestly playing this dead of the night easter egg definitely makes me realize i need to watch more world records of this because like i literally was holding the world record for dead of the night at one point at like 38 minutes like it's my fastest easter egg completion and i'm like dang like I feel like Dead of the Night has been optimized so much. There's been so many different skips and all that. Like, it's just, it's, it's just gotta be that, like, that insane. Yeah, I'm gonna also just throw some Wraith Fighters down. Yeah, I forgot there's gonna be some werewolves, aren't there? I don't know where they are, but they, they, they're, they'll, they'll, they will appear. This I'm sure of. I'm very proud of myself. Oh my gosh, okay. And there's my werewolf going crazy. There we go. Get that werewolf, bruh. Oh, and there's my boy. Yeah, you literally just have to spam the wonder weapon shots. And, and there we go. The lockdown is done. I unfortunately did use a dying wish there. But there, we got one of them. Let's get it. Okay, next lockdowns are a lot easier in my opinion. They give you a lot more leeway. So let's do the mausoleum one first. This one, I feel like also spawns in a ton. A metric ton of freaking, what is it? Of um, werewolves, man. The werewolves are no joke. Yeah, they are absolutely no joke up in here. Yeah, also I'm gonna use my wraith fires too. Bro, just straight up disintegrating out here. Yeah, it's just when the zombies stop and it's just werewolves, that's when it gets, like, really freaking hard. Because those werewolves hit for big damage. Okay, there we go. My boy small, and yeah, here we go. The werewolves are coming. Yep. Yeah, the chakrams, though, are very nice for the werewolves. And considering the major boss fight at the end of this is also a werewolf, this makes sense. Oh my gosh. Like, this is what I'm saying with this dude. Bro is not letting up. This boy gotta be dead now. There's like so many. Come on. There we go. And just like that, we're all done. Easy. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is the dead of the night boss fight baby but this is so sick it's got like its own like intro and all that it's cool bro okay so we do have to just spin this to the green light yeah now it's green and we just sit here and wait for the invisible werewolf to spawn and then as soon as he spawns i'm gonna throw this homonk and then we just literally just delete him Oh, he didn't... Wait, he didn't come through. What the heck? I wasted that. Oh, it's because I don't have this one done. I didn't even see this light. I thought you only get, like, two lights right at the beginning. Oh, my gosh. Bro, this is doing damage. Okay, now it's up. Um, So, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna chalk on them for a bit. And this is where we just damage, damage, damage. Damage, damage, damage. Okay. Uh, Honestly, I think I need a max. I think I need a max. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage. Turn that statue. It is a very unique boss fight because it goes fully in line with like the Nosferatu of like what's the weakness and all that. What's the damage points? Okay, Spitfire go. I'm gonna... 
also a specialist weapon this man there we go the chakrams are so nice too i think we have done it did we just get through second or first phase i i can't i know we definitely didn't okay we have one more homunculus though so we should be all right um the max ammos are definitely beautiful i do have a refreshment as well that i can use but i'm not going to use it until we're in absolute dire need okay yeah, Winter's Whale is also huge. Okay, so that is second phase. Wow, that he takes a ton of damage there. That is crazy, to be honest. Okay, we do have one homunculus for this. And basically, this phase is just like... It's just kind of like a recuperate phase. Like, just get back into gear. Um, but for the most part, I mean, I might as well just grab this. Um, yeah, it's basically just take out all the zombies. And I think they just spawn in regular werewolves again. Let's see. Yeah, I'll throw this homunculus. Just get it going. Just get them going here. I mean, like, if you have Alistair's Annihilator and a max ammo and Spitfire upgraded, like, you're totally gaming. Yeah. So there you go. These are the werewolves coming in. I, I This Wonder Weapon is a lot of fun to use, man. It's literally like, it's like a charge up ray gun that's really good. That's literally like, uh, probably the easiest way I could describe it. Okay, is my man coming back into the map? We will know very soon. Well, yeah, we gotta take this boy out. I think it's just a couple of werewolves and then that's pretty much it. Is my man back? Let's see. I guess he is. So yeah, let's get the statues turning. Yeah, and so now I think the statues just have to find where the slot goes. And that's what phase three is now. So it's it's basically just n not getting completely bullied. Because bro, like when he runs into you, you practically can almost instantly die. Okay, so now let's get it. Just spit fire and I'll specialist in. Um, I'm going to throw a homunculus here. Oh my gosh, bro. Launched me. Okay, let's spit fire him. How much damage is that going to do? Oh, we got him, bro. The Spitfire is goaded. Oh my gosh. I did not realize how good that thing is in the boss. Wow. GG's on dead of the night, y'all. Good thing you're better at shooting than calling Call of Duty. This, this cutscene, man. Literally, all you got to do is just play my reaction to this when I was absolutely blitzed. I've seen some strange things in my time. But no, you fucking have not. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great zombies map. And what I'm going to do is use ancient evil shopping free. I don't know why I just said it like that. Okay, shopping free time. Pop that boy. Take that man out. Zoom, 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 zoom. Uh, I think what I'm actually going to go for is the Spitfire. The Spitfire on this map is absolutely dumb. Uh, but basically, let's just open up every single part of the overworld. I'm probably going to have to activate another shopping free once we get to the underworld. You might be wondering why I'm running the staff. It's for the boss fight for this guy. You can just instantly take him out pretty much once you have it. The beam is not that good. But mainly what you use this for is the meal. The melee, for some reason, is just insane. Which is good, but, I mean, it's pretty much useless on solo, right? It's definitely the, the co-op specialist weapon. I just love this map. It is such a vibe, bro. Like, you'll really never, ever get another experience like this. And, it, like, Jason Lindell absolutely nailed the vibes of this map. We now need to get this boy upgraded. And I believe the way we do it is we take out a bunch of zombies in the water. And we get this thing bloodied up and then we have to find coins. Yeah, you can see the, the water is getting bloodier and bloodier. Oh, yeah, drink. You drink from... Oh, that's disgusting. Are you serious? I don't remember this. Oh, bro, we drink. Okay, so now we look for coins... So this is a real one. And yeah, basically we have to find real coins and not fake coins. And if I take a hit, I don't regen the health. So yeah, you can actually hear like the ping noise. Oh, and that's the third one. Prove yourself worthy. Girl, look at me. I'm not worthy. It's crazy because this shot actually acts like a monkey bomb and all the zombies go towards it. I think it's just not with the zombies pertaining to the trial. But what I love about this is you get like infinite ammo. But for the trial here, I find it's definitely faster if you just spam the gauntlet here. Any day now, zombinis. Okay, thank you. We're, we proved we're worthy. We absolutely just destroyed the entirety of the underworld. 
Tribute, kill zombies with uh, equipment. And then literally we're gonna do the pap. And then we're also gonna do this Uno. So we're gonna get all the Wraith Fire eliminations. Every single one of them. Oh my gosh, could you even imagine? There's refreshment. Oh, oh, you get him bullied. You get him bullied. Oh my goodness. Where did you come from? I'm bullying you. Plant that boy. Heal me. Oh my goodness. I am gonna die. Oh, Spitfire, Spitfire. Throw that boy. I'm about to die. You about to die. Oh my gosh, that was freaking ridiculous. I don't know what just happened there. Honestly, this Easter egg is a lot of fun because you're just doing stupid things. <laughs> like, you're, I'm shooting feather off an arrow. A look at that portal awaiting my entry. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. This is forced push the gauntlet. There we go. We got rare. Nice. Um, I'm probably not going to get legendary epic. It's weird because epic is the best reward. But like epic is usually purple like in Fortnite and legendary is the best reward. No, legendary is the second best in Black Ops 4. Who be making up these rules right now though? Yeah, literally all you have to do to complete this trial is just freaking throw this thing in circles. It's so funny. You just freaking... And also like look at the beam. It's literally from like the sky, man. It's sick. Very unique wonder weapon for sure. Can't even hate. And so many people just don't even know about these, man. It's crazy. God tier wonder weapons. Wonder weaponies. Wonder weaponies. Okay. From Dunskis. Get me out of here. What if I take out the Blight Father? Does that count? Oh, yeah. This is where the damage is. Oh, he's got me in Dying Wish. But you know what? I've got him in a chokehold, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. We now have the epic. Let's go 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 game. I also just don't want to die here. Next time. Boom! Okay, so we melee in here, and there's three oil spills that we have to take out. And so I think I can do them all at once. I don't think I have to come back for all of them. Right here. Uh, the next oil spill is right here. And then the last one is right here. So you just shoot this thing down here. And then go in here, and then look for the blue-eyed gamer. And when you see him, you shoot him. Kind of have to do this one fast. And if you miss, I feel like you have to restart this step. Um, Blue-Eyed Gamer? Blue-Eyed Gamer. Blue-Eyed Gamer? Oh, we're done. Okay, so that's that stuff. Uh, but essentially now, so now you have to trap a wheel next to another wheel. And there's three of these things around. I'm going to throw a homunculus just so I don't get absolutely bullied. There's one over here too. And there's like, you have to hit it right when it's on the wheel, which I literally just missed because I didn't see it. It's hard to see it as well, I feel like. I got it. Okay. Lovely. Um, okay. No, I think I ran past this one. This one is like, where is this one? It's like in a weird spot. Ah, it's right here. Yeah. And this one's pretty easy. I, <laughs> this one's pretty, pretty easy. Completely misses. Even twice. How about, how about number three? Oh, we got it on the third time. So now, there we go. I did not miss that time. We got it. Okay, so here there's something we have to shoot. Yeah, it's right there. And there's going to be another one right here that spawns. And there's going to be another one right there. Yes, sir. And then there's my Giganese Gamer. We're going to bring this Giganese boy. Back to the Ankh we go, boy. Yeah, so I'm going to start putting some shots into bro. Uh, and then once he starts doing that shield attack. There we go. Now he's going to do it. Yeah, and so there goes the onk, and now we can bullied, 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 bullied. Please get bullied, please get bullied. The Spitfire is what I gotta rely on here. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then he has a spear which I can take. Okay, so now I have the onk too. So now the spear goes down here, and we need electrical zombies uh, to basically start even start these steps. There we go. And so now, but this starts another step. So basically, I have to hit this blue symbol. One, two, three. I got it that time. I got it on the right one. Did I get it? I don't even know. I think I did. I can't tell because there's freaking 500 zombies on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's literally just counting to make sure it matches along this yellow line. And then that's it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Done! Video gaming! But essentially what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna activate this trap, give you the onk, give you the hand, and this is what will start it up. Let's also activate the Pegasusers right here. Basically we just need to take out any Skelly. And that's pretty easy when you got the Helion Salvani. 
Um, is that a nuke? Yes, please. That bro does not affect the nuke. Basically, yeah, he just has to finish a symbol. Oh my gosh. I think I did it. Wow, I did it first shot. That's pretty impressive. Usually that step is way more difficult, but first shot gameplay. Let's go, baby. Okay, so the hit your mark step easily is also one of the coolest Easter egg steps ever in COD Zombies as well. This Easter egg step is so unique because um, basically we just go up to the here, this area, and just spam these boys. Just go bow, 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 bow. Love this step, bro. It's just, it's so easy. You just run to the spotlight, shoot some of them in the crowd, run to the next spotlight, shoot some more in the crowd, and then this one's probably going to be a charge up where I just go. And then you run back, and then that's it. You do that a couple times, then we're good. Another charge up one, huh? Yes, sir. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, whoops. Miss you. Boom. Let's go. This one's probably up in the crowd. No. It's boom, 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 boom. Lovely. And that's probably the last one. And then I dip, huh? Yes, sir. It's cool because none of the zombies go for you. I love it. Like, it's such a just chillax step up there. Yep. Get them boys. Come over here. Charge that boy up. Mmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Get them boys up there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go. We did it, baby. Look at that. This is always so cool. I like that. It just kind of flies out. It's because now we have to hit this thing in this room in a specific symbol order. You might be talking, saying like, what the frick is bro talking about? Let me show you. So you go up to this, you shoot this symbol, then this symbol, then this one, then this one, that one, and then that one. And then what we do here is we place the Pegasus strike down. And so my boy Pegasus is over top of this thing and he literally conjures up a freaking crossbow from the middle of nowhere. It's so wild. Like it's really cool they do make you use a lot of your stuff here and then literally right here we have to realign the crossbow so i think there we go go through here hit that with the blue fire and then you just basically have to hold it and run out and then i think we just tp back and it should still be there so then tp and then yeah the trap is literally right here so we just have to like run it for run in it for just a little bit and now it's on fire with like acid as well and literally boom fire we set her freaking hair on fire she goes ooh and then literally it is time for the boss fight ladies and gentlemen let's go where is my boy okay so wherever the lightning is that is where he's gonna be so yeah it is cool because like you literally can just walk on and i think we get him right here yeah the helion is absolutely insane and then literally the reason why you run the staff is so you can just like spam knife him pretty much like this that's pretty good okay there we go let's freaking melee this boy over and over and over come on brother Get on out of here, boy. Okay. And I think that could be it for Pegasus. Unless there's one more. Yep. No, it's it for Pegasus. No. Pegasus, sir. Bro's getting bullied. And now he's super, he's super god tier. Yeah, look at this. So now both of the islands are gone. And now it's just me and Big Bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess not. I guess I'll just take him out then. Okay. Let's see if we get him. Let's see if we get him. I got Chakram's definitely would have been the better play, I think. Now he's coming down. Come on down again, brother. This should not take that long, let me tell you. Okay, he's throwing another one. He's being cheeky. Right when I already have it, dog. I'm waiting for his lightning attack. And then as soon as he's come down, this last ancient evil, I'm gonna bully him. Get on down here. Okay, there we go. Okay, bully this man, bully this man. Boom, boom. Take him out, baby. Melee him to death. Melee him to death. Bully him. He will be no more. I think we got him. I'm just, I'm not going to stop hitting. I'm not going to stop hitting. GG. And there we go. We get the key as well. The Oracle key. GG's. She, she, she deceiving y'all, bro. But ladies and gentlemen, that is Ancient Evil. Let's get into the next ones. This is going to be 
my first Easter egg attempt ever solo of this map. I have never completed this map's Easter egg solo, and it's just because I genuinely hate this map so much. I'm also gonna need some codes, and I think there's a code down here. So that code is 9237. Uh, so what is here? Our code is 2880. Um, I'm shocked I actually even found all the parts so freaking fast. Also, this is our next code, 30,027. Okay, can I just freaking throw these in? No, he's just gonna yap for a bit. Rushmore, just shut your mouth and let me put the codes inside it, okay? No, I'm actually Canadian, if you can believe it. I know, right? Okay, 7626. Bro, so you let me put the three numbers in, but not the last number. What the frick is going on? Okay, there's the first one. 30, 27 is the next one. Okay, I'm going to give it to you if you just shut your yap for four seconds. You just shut your yap and I'm going to give it to you, dog. Oh my gosh, this guy's a yapper. Thank you, Luna. Okay, this one's 9337 now. Oh, this is gonna, this is so annoying, dog. 9337 2880. There we go, G. Let's go. We got it. F0930, okay. C1015. C1015. D zero eight one five E one one three zero B zero four four five. Is that it? I guess that's it. Okay. So F is what nine thirty. So we gotta switch it to nine thirty G. This is nine. Freaking click it. There we go. That should be it. So C is next. Ten fifteen here. It is one more. There we go. 10, 15. Uh, now, the next house is D, which was on this side for sure. And D is 8, 15. They're pretty close. It's just like hitting this clock is so, so finicky. One more. There we go. E, 1130. 1130. 11, Two more. Two more, sir. There we go. B is 445. Let's, let's flip this thing quick. Can you all just piss off for one second? 4.45. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so the code is 5.45. So 0.545. 0.545. Done. Okay, we did it though. Access denied to the APD. Ah, my brother! Bro, you better not shoot that whatever the frick that is at me, dog. How dare you? Okay. And then this bro leaves through here, right? What a bizarre freaking Easter egg step. Bro is actually insane. I cannot tell a lie. Okay, so now we gotta find good old Sergeant 80 AM. My good old man, Sergeant. Yep, so we gotta get this, brother. Come on over. Loose lips sink ships. Who the frick is bro talking about? Okay, yeah, and I remember. Adam, get over here. Adam, get over here, dude. What the frick are you doing? Waste your time like that. Yeah, so I need bro to come over here and just talk some smack to Marlton behind the door. Marlton, you a, you a little, you a little dinker stinker dog. Now we have the canister, and I just think we just place it here. That's pretty much it. Yeah, there we go. Got to place some telepads for this Easter egg set. One right here, and then one right over on the end there. Oh yeah, this is where I need the lightning guy to get hit. So literally, I just wait for an electric guy to come over here, shoot this thing, and then we're good. Sergeant 80 AM, it's time to pack it up, my mans. You you are free to leave at any time, sir. I hope you know that. You are just... You're playing the game for me, my friend. Oh, it's an electric guy. Please go away. Did he go away? Adam, are you gone? Tell me you're gone, Adam. Oh, yes, he is. Okay, let's go. 
Yes, sir. Shoot this bad boy, brother. Shoot it. He missed, you literal, you little dinker stinker. Okay, grab it. Go! Oh, baby. More codes? Are you out of your mind? Okay, here we go. So our first one is here. I don't think that worked. Oh, there we go. Six, four, three, zero. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, what's what's the? I can't even see the freaking number. Uh, what the frick is that? Oh, eight nine two two. There we go, my brain rotters. Three seven. What is that? Get out of my way, G. I can't. I. It's just blood, dog. Why? Why do they have blood? Three seven four eight. Okay. Six four three zero. Then 8922. Why do they do this one minute stuff, dog? Okay. 3, 7, 4, 8. There we go. Oh, here we go. Upwards. Nice. And storage is that. There we go. And then we gotta do. This is such a small right here. And there we go, baby. We're back online. Okay, let's get it. <coughs> there we go. There's now one more core value to do, and that's apps take down the AI. Oh, the mannequin literally just appears from the ground. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is our first one. Um, I don't know. Like, when does this end? Oh, it just it just blows up. Bro just said, "That's it. I'm out. Peace." Oh, I see him. This broken necked man. Look at him. Oh my gosh, this thing is freaking getting bullied, dog. Okay, well, I'm out. Apparently, there's like six of these that I have to do for these lockdowns. Why are there so many? I don't even know if those acid bombs are any good. Did bro die? That's so weird. Like, it doesn't even give you, like, any visual cue. Bro just freaking disappears, bro. Okay, last one's gonna be at the transfusion facilities. Let's see if this brother's spitting facts. Um... Cause he could be, he could be very well spin some factuals. Sir, yes sir, I think he's right over there. Let's get it. There we go, justice for all. What the frick are you talking about, brother? Duck and cover, no, 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 don't say that. That's the gauntlet name, bro, don't say that. No, 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 don't even say, don't even think about that, bro. It's funny that the American Zombies map, the world record is held by a Canadian. Like, you gotta think about that. That's, that's poetic. That is legitimately poetic. Okay, and then we build Peter Mc, Peter Mc, Peter! Peter McCain, Peter! Peter, come get your McCain, Peter! Okay, we're gathering, we're gathering, we're going and we're gathering, we're going and we're gathering. Explode, collect, repeat. He'd be spitting, explode, collect, repeat. Explode, collect, repeat. There we go, Peter. Peter! Wait, I know where your friends are. I know where your The Rock! Whoa! Ultimus Dempsey quote. Ultimus Dempsey knows him. That's sick. Okay, so it's either top of yellow or at the beds. Let's hope it's top of yellow. Uh, this is probably best for me to run on dead man here, huh? No, it's at beds. Is it right here? Yep, there it is. There it is. Uh, honestly, yeah, I'm dead man, this dog. I don't think it needs, um, yeah, it doesn't need souls. That's cool. True, freedom is not free unless you know Jesus Christ, man. Dude, this guy's spitting. He actually knows his stuff, bro. Can't even lie. Okay, well, I get why I'm running Undead Man Walking, because Undead Man Walking on the step is an absolute godsend. Bro does not need a single soul. You literally just have to walk with him like a freaking... A parent holding their child's hand. Let me hold your hand, Elemental Orb. Why is this even an Easter egg step? I don't even freaking know, my guy. Like, this has been a whole minute of me just walking this bro around freaking Nuketown. You ever seen this before? You ever play Call of Duty Black Ops 1? I mean, dang, G. Oh, bro, give me that extra time up in there, bro, dog. Let's go. This is just easy peasy lemon squeezy up in here, B. Where is he actually gonna go? He, he goes back to Peter and Kane, right? I think that's... can't even remember, dog. Like, I've literally done this Easter egg like under five times, I'm pretty sure. 
I think this is literally where he goes. Yeah, I mean, where else would he go? Where else would he go, bruh? We about to give this man some newfound life or something. Here we go. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Hey, he's in the orb. Okay, so now it's boss fight. This is going to be the first time I've ever done it solo. ADM units. Destroying ADM near the APDs will complete the charging process. I see. Let's start up the Easter egg, baby. Start up that dang boss fight. Let's get it. I don't know how many we have to do. It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, we just got to do as many as we can, I guess. Okay, I guess they're only filling up here. It doesn't matter how far I shoot them, too. The souls always count. Okay, so yeah. Legit, just got to get her done. Are we done now? Oh, this boy's coming out the dang hole. Oh my gosh, look at the lock on that thing, bro. Oh my gosh, that thing too bright. That's too dang bright. Look at this boy. Dang, is he really talking like he all that? Avogadro. This is bro, such a little dinker stinker, dog. Ted, you need to help me out up in here, dog. What the frick are you doing just looking at me like that? Uh, anything cray cray? Honestly, not really. I don't even want that. Bro, it hits. Oh my gosh. Bro, oh my dude. Yeah, you cannot stand still. Oh my gosh. Bro, does not know when to give up. Okay, yeah, as long as I'm moving, that should be more important. I'm like not getting like any souls, I feel like. Oh my gosh. Bro, is a freaking menace. Oh my gosh. It's mainly just about avoiding his electricity. Oh my gosh. Is it not done? How many, bro? Wait, is that it? You just run out now? Oh, now you gotta get out. I see. Okay, so there's lounge. Let's go diner. It's so interesting because when I did this co-op, it felt more action-packed, I guess, with just more people in these confined spaces. But this just makes me realize this is pretty much just a glorified soul box fill up pretty much. Yeah, because I feel like on co-op, you definitely get more spawns. Oh, it absolutely is. Cooldown required? Wait, what? You can turn it off and get a cooldown on? That's so freaking dumb. Let's just game it. Let's just game it. Bro, get out my way. Bro, tell me it's done. Okay, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but you can basically like, trap them on the side. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Bro does not let up, dog. Oh my gosh. Bro just freaking TP'd. You actually used to respect me, dog? What, what, what the frick was that? It was not in transit, let me tell you. Bro hits like a truck if you get close to him. Um, yeah, we gotta dip. We gotta dip. We gotta go back to that 8BD, baby. Yeah, this is such a bizarre step. You, like, shoot him back in. Oh, my gosh. This is so funny looking. There we go. That's... Is that it? Is that really the whole Alpha Omega Easter egg? First time doing Alpha Omega solo. Honestly, I mean, it's a pretty easy egg, but just, like, pretty tedious, I think. Please accept the shard. W. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Alpha Omega done. Great. Let's go. Just talk to Toten now. This is it. The final Black Ops 4 Easter egg. Call of the Dead is one of my favorite Call of Duty zombie maps. And genuinely, even though this map I do believe is worse than Call of the Dead, it's still a very fun experience to me because this is always something that I've always wanted to see. Like, what would Call of the Dead look like or play like in a modern COD Zombies game? And that's pretty much exactly what this is. And so it's really cool. I have not done this Easter egg in a long time. And so this is going to be interesting to see if I'm like actually able to do it. I'm really ending Black Ops 4 up with Missy right now. This is wild. I just realized that. That's uh, that's crazy. Okay, power's fully on now. Chat, the last time I played this was when I said, wake up, wake up, wake up. That's when the meme started, bro. On Togger Toten. What a map. What a map to wake up on. The very last one, man. Yeah, we're doing the trials now. We do have to only do two of the trials. We don't have to do all five. Um, dang, Misty spitting facts. I didn't even think of that. Feeling. Yeah, there it is. There's the ice go. And there we go. Okay, so now this is done. Next is the PP jars. I have uh, some bottles that need to be emptied. Oh, you can legit just do this with a tier 3 of this. Oh, that's dumb busted. Dang, look how fast you move too. Wow, and I still have it. Wow, that is definitely really, really cool. Okay, um, that's one. 
Oh my gosh, bro. Just like, how did they even record this noise? Like, somebody, somebody at Treyarch went up to the auto team and was like, okay, we have pee pee jars. You need to make the sound of pee pee swirling in a jar. And it's just like, no. No, I don't need to do that. I would have freaking quit right then and there, my G. Um, and yeah, we have the last one, and then we also still have to bring the gearbox back up and then get the Samantha boxes too. Okay, there we go. All the PP gone now. We don't even stand a chance. Okay, I'm legit gonna use all my Matroiskas for this. So we basically just like insert these keys, and now we get a lockdown. Okay, yeah, Matryoshkas, you're going to. I honestly, I really like the animations of the Matryoshka for Tog. It's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, just not when it freaking bullies me though. Oh, sheesh, boy, get out of there. Get yourself out of there. Oh, too bad there's no freaking snowballs, bro. Why are you all coming at the wrong time? Yeah, they were pretty good, to be honest. They kind of carried. Oh, he's dodging and weaving. Okay, treat with respect. Okay, bro, but honestly, this weapon is so kaka. One more, brother, what you got? Piece of cake? You better be not lying to me, dog. Standing still? Oh, yeah, he is, he is saying it's a piece of cake. No, Brain Rot, why you gotta do me like this? Does Brain Rot count? Oh, Brain Rot is counting my elims while I'm standing still. Oh, that's freaking goaded. Okay, keep up, keep going. Keep going off. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Is it done? No, now it's done. Okay, okay. Will you give me a reward key? Thank you. Yeah, let's go get your soup ingredients now, boys. There's one right there. Now is the boat house the kind of place you'd keep your Garthen device? No, but it is the type of place you'd keep some soup ingredients. Yeah, like meat. Oh, it is on the floor. What the frick is going on up here in Miami, dog? Okay, so add, boom, done. There we go. The animation of it is very cool. Though. Okay, so we got the dials. Let's begin. So the dial goes here, and the dial goes here, and this one goes there, and then this one goes here. We basically have to spin it until it dings. It dings on nine, that one, okay? This one dung on seven. Six. There we go. And now bro is going insane. Apothecan blood. Crave destruction, but pain. We are in great pain. Well, what, what do you want me to do about that, huh? What do you want me to do about that? Find us offerings three. Okay. Othna, where mountains throw. So I got to go up to the top of the freaking map. There we go. Where north is found. Okay. So this one's going to be here somewhere. Oh, yeah. There it is. There's the skull. Done. Where lungs close. Okay, so I remember where that one is. To this thing right here. It's a little jawbone, bro. Wow. These offerings blaze us. Oh, good, bro. It took me a bit to find him. Okay, my, my seal of duality lovers. Okay. Well, we're going to restore it. Where humans suffer. Okay, and the walls where humans suffer. Okay, okay. We gonna do it. Okay. Where it at, though? It should be a safe somewhere here, right? Oh, look at that. I remembered. I... Let's get it. Yes. Okay, I'm taking it, Nikolai. And I think we... Bring us our vessel. There we go, brother. I got you. I do have to shoot this thing around now a couple times. Okay, retrieve what we have lost. Oh, actually, no, I need the snowball still. Yeah, because now there's going to be orbs around the map, and I just have to, like, throw a snowball at them and then bring them back. It's, it's a very bizarre Easter egg set. Looking for orbs. Oh, see, there's one literally right there. And so all I have to do is bore it, like, gets too far. Yeah, it literally just boom. Boom! Is it below? What the heck? I've never seen that spot in my life. Oh my gosh. What the frick did you do to get there, my guy? This boy is there. Boom, bada, bing. 
Came the blood. So we put this boy here, and then we uh, throw my throw some Samantha boxes on it. Yeehoo! Does she? There we go. Okay, she did do it. So, to answer Nikolai's question about what I really want, I just want my happy ending. True. And you're gonna die, okay. XDDD. Now we gotta go back to Pablo Marinus. And he's gonna give us the stones, which we basically just fiddle around with on the map. Uh, bro's got us fiddling. Oh uh, yeah, bro. Definitely, I'm just remembering that. There's like, there's like lockdowns in this. We're gonna get to some lockdowns. Oh yeah, it's gonna get bad. But as long as I have Winter's Whale, we should be chilling. Okay, so now we need to come down to the bottom of this area. And basically, we just place it down and use a trap. Okay, so those are now set down. And the trap needs to now go on. Yeah, this trap is a little uh, questionable because it's like the zombies don't even go towards it. So, you know, it's like, what, what the frick is even going on here? But hey, man, we we love we love Togger to Oh, these boys about to die. Y'all better, better get in here. Is that lighthouse trap about to burn the house down? What the frick is going on up in there? Let's get the stone. And so, yeah, this, this stone step is like you need to have a fire. So now both are set on fire. We can pick them up to the facility i'll never get older the zip lines man i love zip lines and zombies it's like one of the best mechanics in my opinion ever there's so, it's so cool one needs to be perpetually on fire and the other does not need to be there we go oh bruh it's a little uh little bit glitchy okay just waiting for that trap to be done then we can pick up the rock and place it Stone cold. There we go. So there we go. Okay, so we got the fuse though. And then now we need to shoot the things by going back up. So fuse cannot be powered. There's one up here. And then there's that one. How people found this, I don't even get. Okay. Oh. Oh, I actually got that one. Okay, I was about to say, let's go. So, that's one out of three generators. We just need this one, and then the one by the lighthouse trap. Okay, so and then we'll get the elemental shard. Repeat the step. Uh, oh, here we go. There we go. Okay, and there we go. There we go. Elemental shard. Okay. So now, I'm just gotta shoot this thing a couple times. I just hate how it like auto locks to the zombies. Are these shots even counting? I don't even freaking know. Okay, there we go. None. Oh, okay, there's one in talk here. Nice. That's one. Okay. Okay, that's two. Dog. Oh my gosh, there it is. What the frick? That, why did they make... They made these freaking difficult, dog. So there's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Lovely. There we go. We love seeing it. We love seeing it. Okay, there we go. And so now we have to give the seal of duality back to Pablo Marinus. And then we're pretty much done this Easter egg now. We're on to the hard part. So this is going to be exciting. So let me give you the Agartha device, Pablo. Here we go. Yeah, and I don't think this lockdown, you have to take out everything, but you definitely have to survive. I remember doing this on like round 100 and it was almost like freaking impossible, dog. Oh, big, big nuke. Big nuke. Oh, that nuke definitely came through. Okay, I'm gonna leave one Samantha. Okay, we are now done. Okay, so now we have to place the seal of duality inside of PAP. And yeah, unfortunately, this is now the end of being able to PAP, but I should be totally fine because, I mean, I literally have the MOG. Like, what's even the big deal? 
there we go the seal of duality and i think it takes souls right yeah so we're we're now filling up souls for the each of the paps and then we like literally break each of the pack punch machines it's so wild and then there we go fill that boy up fill them up fill them up sir yes sir okay that one's done nice we go to the next one abh that's just the worst abh i've literally ever done in my whole life okay there we go oh it does i think okay yeah there's insta where's that next pap I mean, that's what I'm saying, girl. We're gonna get a max ammo eventually. Uh, I think we might even get one just before the actual lockdown starts. Or if we beat all these uh, things. It just, it's not it. Okay. Sheesh, boy. I be struggling. I have no clue. Carpenter as well. Didn't even have to buy that. But nah, man. Brain Rod also is really good on the Mog here. This is going to be probably like the best setup that I'll run. I could get a Thunder Gun, but to be honest, it's definitely not even that needed. Uh, now we have this. Okay. Okay, go off, King. Oh my gosh, bro. You are freaking giving me Aim Labs training up in here, dog. Oh my goodness, bro. My goodness. Or I think I don't have to like search for this one again, do I? Do not do such a thing. Thank you. Okay, the duality is resolved. They just they just do be saying random words, dog. Just capping the lighthouse beam. Let's go. And we are ready to absolutely destroy this. Uh, let's get some more mog ammo though before we go. But yeah, honestly, I'm so glad we were able to do all of BO4. This game is definitely a marathon when it comes to the Easter eggs, but it is still so much fun. And I got to relearn a lot of these Easter eggs again because I have not done some of these Easter eggs now legitimately in probably over five years which is like kind of crazy to even just think about and now we just wait there's nothing oh we have to put the seal do out we have oops and now this starts the coolest part of the easter egg where the map literally goes from ice to fire laser i love this this is so cool yeah so now we just have to follow it and uh give it souls and just not die and yeah basically you don't have to take them out really until you get to the points where you have to like start filling up souls which is i feel like faster than you realize a lot of the time this is i think one of those parts okay there we go oh my gosh yeah this is insane because it's like it gives you the where the ice area was but it's all lava you gotta like walk on these stones and like survive and stuff this is so sick you're practically doing parkour around call of the dead i mean like i just wish this was didn't have to be like the finale of ether because this is just so sick regardless because i think it's just gonna start bringing me up to the zip line too and that's when like things actually get scary uh, yeah, let's just shoot until they're all dead. Okay, yep, just like that, we're gaming. Okay, we're actually really close to being done, so I'm gonna get ready to pop this elixir. I still have my katana, which is nice. Yeah, and now we go down to the middle. Talking about regeneration is happening. Yeah, because this is where, like, the circle gets so small and you have to fill it up with souls and all sorts of nonsense. This step is absolutely madness. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Samantha. Okay, wow. Samantha actually just took them all out pretty much right there. Oh gosh, Samantha box, go! And then katana let's hit this katana oh my gosh what is that noise why it gotta be like that why i gotta make that noise there we go we did it all right and what i love about this final easter egg step as well is you get to see the entirety of the map all lava out it's genuinely so gorgeous like now the last step is we go back to pablo marius 
Yes, sir. There's your seal. This is it, right? Wait. Yeah, look. Now he's back. Oh, my name is Pablo Martinez. Look at him, bro. That is so sick. I've never even seen him up there. Wow, dang. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the finale of Black Ops 4. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, running through these Easter eggs are absolutely incredible. And it goes to show, like, BO4, as hard as these Easter eggs are, they definitely have some merit behind them. And, I mean, we're about to see one of the best cutscenes in Call of Duty Zombies with the final. Here we go. Sheesh. Rest in peace, boys. We got absolutely blitz these lads. Look away, Eddie. Boom. Yeah, I definitely think like the emotional weight of this moment definitely goes down because you just know that like Cold War is practically just like right around the corner. Yep. And that's it. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm walking towards the light. Hey, what a, what a poetic ending, man, to all of these Easter eggs. Yeah, this ending went hard. I'm not going to lie. It's just like, I don't think we'll ever get these types of Easter eggs ever again, but still absolutely iconic experience. This is actually, I think, my first time ever actually going through this dialogue in game. Great Easter egg ending. Ladies and gentlemen, that is every single Easter egg in Black Ops 4 Zombies. I did hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in that next one, baby.